Hi everybody, this is Jed, and today we're going to learn how to program floppy ears using Maya's expression editor. I'm not using much RAM, so everything's kind of lagging a little bit, but you can still do it. So if you take a look, the ears look, they look all right. They're doing their floppy thing, some programmatical uh, issues to still work out. But let's dive into it. Okay, expression editor, open sucker up. And I also have the left ear control clicked. And now I'm diving into the rotate Y value. Just plug in all this stuff, but here is the bit of coding that makes the biggest difference. Uh, it gets the attribute of frame minus three. So whatever the current frame is, minus three. It's feeding that value in. And I've also set up a drive switch on this, um, just a simple uh, 0 to 1 float variable. So we can kind of tune it in a little more um, with either 0 drive or 100%. And as you can see, when it's turned off on the right ear, it doesn't do anything at all, but the left ear continues to fly. Pretty cool. And I also set it up as a key driven object. So we can go in and set up keyframes and kind of determine whether or not it's going to flop when we want it or not. And you could do partial values between 0 and 1 to kind of tighten it up a little bit. I should probably set that to 0 to 5. So we can get some massive keyframes going. But that's that sounds like that. But here um, we're keying it in. Just to show that it can be done. And it's pretty handy. I don't know why you want to use this, but it's an option now. And that's always good. Here, a couple more keys here. And let's take a look. So we have it fully on. And now it's oh, oh, we're missing something. Okay. Let's see. All right, so it looks nope. There it goes. Kind of stiffened up a little bit between 60 and 80, and then 105 and 110. 